What a windy day and what a change from scenery. For the last five months I have only recorded videos in winter. <laughs> so this is a real change of scenery. It's still winter back home, but for this video I have traveled 500 kilometers south. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Thomas Rask and I'm a landscape and wildlife photographer from Sweden. And in this video I have a real treat for you all. I'm at a location called uh, Hornborgasjön and every year in March and April a special event is occurring at this lake. It's called the crane dance. So I'm primarily here for the crane dance. <laughs> there are literally thousands of cranes here. So that's gonna be really interesting. I have never been there before but I have been wanting to come to this location for many years so I'm really happy to be here. I've taken an extra day off from work so it's Friday today. So hopefully we'll get to see a lot of cranes. But uh, if I see a chance for a landscape shot, I'm gonna grab that as well. So yeah, let's get into it. So where are all the cranes? <laughs> well, behind this camera, off in the distance, there is a church tower. That's where all the cranes are. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go there later. There's so much for me to explore here. So I'm taking my time. I'm gonna climb a bird spotting tower. I got my first visual of a crane, other than those that I've seen up in the sky. It's out there in the field, <laughs> behind the oak trees. Okay guys, it's time. Let's go and see the cranes. It's gonna be really exciting. <laughs> but there are probably going to be a lot of people there, so mm, I might not talk so much to the camera. I'm not really comfortable with that. But it's gonna be so fun to see all the cranes. Let's go. On my arrival to Hornborgsjön, there were 7,000 cranes. That number will go as high as 20,000 later in April. But 7,000 was already an impressive sight. Cranes has been gathering here for thousands of years. Why? Because of the nature of the location. Favorable winds for them to fly? It's a safe haven for them? And the food? Nowadays we feed them with 150 tons of grain every year to keep them away from harming the surrounding agricultural land. The event is called the Crane Dance. Unfortunately, I did not get to see much of the dance. They were much more interested in feeding than dancing. They dance to strengthen the bond between mates. They often stay with the same partner through their entire life. I had photographers to my left and right, people walking in front of me and behind me, people talking and socializing. But still it felt like I was there all by myself. I was laser focused on the cranes in front of me. I wanted to capture creative photos. Not photos like this one. There's nothing wrong with this photo, but I wanted to capture the event with my own personal style of photography.
like this one, when all the cranes were alarmed by something and they all started running in the same direction. This is my favorite from that day. The one swan captured more of my attention than the hundred cranes surrounding it. The next morning I was not the first one on location, but I was definitely the first one awake. This morning I had a specific set of photos in my mind that I wanted to capture. Cranes as silhouettes on top of this hill. At first it was only an empty hill. A few minutes later a couple of cranes showed their heads. More of them emerged. And when the sun rose over the hill I stood there in awe of nature's wonder. This moment did not last very long. Clouds obscured the sun, and just like that, the magic was gone. But the memories will remain with me forever.
cranes are so majestic and graceful. So I'm really happy I traveled to Hornborra Sjön this, this spring. But now I'm closer to home. I've been in the car for five hours. So I'm really tired right now. So I'm only 150 kilometers from home and I'm at the outskirts of a national park called Färnebofjärden. And I'm gonna spend the night here, have a walk <laughs> before before the sun sets and uh, hopefully I will get up early in the morning and take some shots. So yeah, the video isn't over yet. When I was at Hornbara Sjön I used both of my cameras, the Z6 and the Z7 and I captured photos and video. But I couldn't really tell the story because of all the people around me, I felt so uncomfortable filming myself. But I have placed an order for a Osmo Pocket 3, a vlogging camera, a handheld vlogging camera. But it's back ordered, so I'm gonna have to wait maybe a month for it. And hopefully with that camera I can build more of a story even though I'm surrounded by people. I think I would be more comfortable with a small camera in my hand for, for vlogging. So hopefully <laughs> my videos will get better in the future. I'm actually too tired to be creative. So I'm gonna call it a day and hopefully I will be much more energetic tomorrow morning. So I see you tomorrow morning. Well, good morning everyone. Today <laughs> I woke up to winter, so the conditions have changed drastically from spring to winter. <laughs> it's a light snowfall and just a thin layer of powder of snow on the ground. It looks really beautiful. And this is Färnebofjärden National Park. And um, I'm gonna spend a few hours here before I go back home and hopefully I will find something interesting to photograph. I couldn't have asked for a more beautiful morning. And I'm the only one here, I'm first on site. <laughs> so, ooh, this is a dream morning. And I've already captured a few photos. White Frodo Dipper, very lucky, it's out there in the stream. It's really handy to have my tele lens ready like this in this side pocket. So let's see if we can get some photos on it. Well, at least some video clips.
So this has been a perfect week and so much great photography and really great experiences with the cranes and now this national park. Really nice conditions here this morning. But now it's time to go back home. I got work tomorrow, but all the stress has left my body. So I'm, oof, I feel really nice. So yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.